All right, here's another example. Oh, wait, we'll call this example two. Um, just like the one that we just did, except um, you're going to see that this is in quadrant three, so it leads to a little different calculation for finding the direction. All right, so the first thing we want to do always is we want to sketch these. All right, so there's the x-axis, there's the y-axis. Recall that this is your x-y coordinates. So if I just sketch this out, I go negative six, or six in the negative direction, and then negative two, or two in the negative direction. So there's that point. Your, your tail is always at the origin, and your tip is at that point right there. So we want to find the magnitude of this vector, and then we want to find the direction. So the direction in this case, again, we always measure these from the positive x direction. So the direction is going to be this. That's the direction right there. So let's first find um, the magnitude. And I can take the triangle out. See, I can create a triangle. I always create a triangle in relation to the x-axis. It just provides some consistency there. So there's my triangle, specifically a right triangle. This leg is 6. This leg is 2, and I want to calculate the hypotenuse, which is the magnitude of V. So using uh, the Pythagorean theorem, we know that 6 squared plus 2 squared equals C squared. You already know how to do the math there. So I'll just say that's the square root of 40. And then um, we can reduce that. You know that 40 is 4 times 10, so that can be 2 times the square root of 10. So our magnitude, there we go, there's our magnitude, is 2 times the square root of 10. All right, so there's part A. So for part B, we want to calculate um, the direction. And so if I know this angle right here, theta hat, which is right here, theta hat, then I can take theta hat and add 180 to it to get the whole direction. So let's calculate theta hat first, and I can use tangent. So I've got the tangent of that angle in my triangle opposite over uh, adjacent, and so if we use our inverse tangent function, over 6, then I get 18.4 degrees. Make sure you're in the degree mode. So now to calculate the actual direction, here we'll squeeze that in right here, the actual direction, well it's 180, you know, from here, from the x all the way from the positive x to the negative x. So I have to take the 180, and in this case then I have to add the 18.4 degrees to it. And when I do that, I get 198.4 degrees. So that's the direction of that standard position vector.